been telling you about a plan to return school performance grades to a 15-point system. The General Assembly has already voted to change the system to a 10-point grading scale, much like the one they use for students. But that change means some schools could get lower grades. CBS 17 Sheena Elzey joins us live in Cumberland County, where one community is doing everything it can to improve its school. Sheena. Well, there are four schools in Spring Lake that have been struggling. This middle school is one of them, and it could get a lot harder for them as school leaders try and make the grade. I taught, I taught. For 11 years, Larry Dobbins was a teacher at Spring Lake Middle School. So I taught science on the eighth grade level. Now as the mayor, he says the town is becoming known for a problem in the schools. Sometimes we are really misidentified as, as not being good schools. Out of four schools in Spring Lake, two are getting a D overall and an F in some subjects. The highest two performing schools getting a C overall. The State Department of Instruction gives the grades based on a 15-point scale. Lawmakers voted to make that number higher to a 10-point scale. Yeah, that would definitely would pose a challenge as it relates to um, the way schools are identified. Making it harder for the already struggling schools to make the grade. We want to hold all of our um, parents, our teachers, our students accountable for results and we hope that the state will support us in our efforts. There is a push to go back to the old 15-point system while school district leaders are trying to find solutions. Their efforts trying to come up with a five-year strategic plan. In Cumberland County, we have a situation where many of our families um, are in poverty. And so what we see then that um, those schools have different challenges and obstacles than maybe schools in more um, socioeconomically advantaged areas. And so what we have to do is look at the specific needs at each of those schools and see what are the ways that the school system can provide additional support. But the mayor has another solution. I would love to just get back into the schools myself. Uh, to try to uh, do some of the things that I think made me a successful teacher. To try and help students make higher grades. Now, there was a meeting last night with the mayor, district leaders, and community members where they brought up those concerns. The district leaders plan to address those concerns in that strategic plan that's expected to come out sometime in June. But for now, we're live in Spring Lake. Sheena Elsie, CBS 17 News. A quick pro